Aurora City Council looking into how much the city would save by privatizing public defender services. So this is soon will be put uh, out uh, request for proposal here. Council member Dustin Zavonik says a citizens advisory committee report found the city could save a million dollars. However, it would require the city to dissolve the public defender's office and then contract out those services. Councilwoman Allison Coombs said the costs here, uh, the savings anyway, likely are small. Yes, yeah, so our chief public defender, Doug Wilson, who retired this year, um, had made comments in opposition to mandatory minimums. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when this whole push started, that it was initiated in a situation that appears retaliatory. I wanted to have this assessment done to determine whether or not that cost savings was real, as opposed to just me throwing out some numbers, the opposition throwing out numbers, and, and maybe we're right and maybe they're right or wrong. And community members had a chance to comment on privatizing the public defender's office at tonight's city council meeting. Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford listened in on that meeting and heard from people speaking out about that issue tonight. So Jessica, what concerns did people have? Well, just looking at that meeting, it didn't seem like the idea was so popular. People spoke overwhelmingly against privatizing the public defender's office in Aurora. One speaker who made a public comment tonight was concerned about whether the privatized pay would be so low that eventually attorneys wouldn't want to take the cases. He pointed to Oregon, where a judge ruled that counties have to release criminal defendants from jail within seven days of their first court appearance if they're being held without a lawyer assigned to them. That judge reasoned that if there are no attorneys to take their cases, those defendants are deprived of their Sixth Amendment right to an attorney. The speaker concerned he could see the same thing happen in Aurora. They have no one taking the cases where people are getting released, their cases being dismissed, without anything happening to them because they are not getting the right to counsel. One attorney spoke about the issue, saying that privatizing the public defender's office could compromise the quality of the work. She made the point that saving a million dollars to her isn't worth it. This city believes that saving a single million dollars in an area where the constitutional rights of our neighbors are at risk is heartbreaking. And more people rely on public defenders than you might think. According to the ACLU, roughly four out of five criminal defendants don't have the means to hire a lawyer, so they rely on public defenders or court-appointed court attorneys. Important resource. Good work there, Jessica. Thank you very much.